All right, guys, so a big question that keeps coming up, and I've talked about it a little bit before, but I want to go through it again uh, a little bit slower. But one of the ways to get on playlist, and I, I like to combine this with uh, several things that I teach, and one of them is collaboration. So you want to try to find collaborations with artists that are similar to you but have more fans or about equal fans, not really less. You don't want to take two steps back. And the reason for this is, and I've said it a million times, if you take, uh, you've got a thousand fans and you pick somebody that has a thousand fans or 2000 fans, you guys do a collaboration together, both in agreement to share it on your profiles and push it out for a while. Then you now have that song going out to an audience of 2000 fans. Some of their fans, since you are similar, will gravitate towards you and like the fact you guys did a song together and become your fans and vice versa. You're pulling from each other's um, pools of fans and you're going to grow by doing that. So I suggest trying to find somebody that has as many followers as you or more, do a collaboration with them, similar styles of music, you know their fans would like your music, and then you can grow. So one of the things that we did is we took this artist here, uh, Ben, and we did a collaboration with him because his music is similar and he's an up and coming artist and he's on the rise. So you can see here, he's got a thousand or over a million um, streams on one song way, way far ahead of us. We paid for this collaboration and then several hundred thousand on some others. So now that I have a song, so it's one of two things, right? I have a song that is with him so I can use that to my advantage, or I have a song that his audience would like. Maybe it's just me by myself, the artist by themselves, but we know that the audience of Ben would like this song. So what we wanna do is we wanna jump over to Spotify. We wanna pull up his profile, and then we are going to go to the About section. When you click on the About section, what you're gonna find is Discovered On. So I know right now by looking, these are playlists that you can find this music on. And I immediately can tell this first one, see the Spotify logo up in the top left-hand corner? That's a Spotify playlist. That's going to be very hard to get on. I don't want things that are very hard to get on. In fact, I want something that's got 2,000, 3,000, 10,000, 20,000. Um, I would rather have try to contact 20 people that have 2,000 and get on 10 of those lists than to try to go after rap caviar or something that's got 200,000. It just makes more sense. It's easier to get on, the streams accumulate, it adds up. So take a bunch of small wins instead of going for that big win, trying to get on a Spotify playlist out the gate when you really don't have a reputation, you don't, you don't have the organic reach, you don't have the streams, you don't have the followers, anything like that. We gotta take baby steps, start small, so we start looking for smaller playlists. So now I have a song with this artist or like this artist. I'm not gonna go after this first playlist, but let's look at the second playlist. So I come over here and this song has 100, or this playlist has 148 songs. I like them to be more like 50 um, or 100, but 150 is not excessive. We've got 20,681 um, followers, which is really great. We'll take it. And we know that this guy features that artist. So now what I need to do is try to figure out how can I reach this guy? So if I click on the name created by, um, I get a profile picture. I get a very unique name. Let's copy that. And then what I can do, then what I do is I come over here and I search that name in Google and, or I can search it on YouTube or I can search it on, or I can search it on Instagram, wherever I want. So I search the name. I can look for the same type of profile picture. A lot of times it stays the same because people join with their Facebook account. Sometimes they have the same Facebook, Instagram profile picture, et cetera. So there's different ways to look for it, but I'm going to search for this name and I can see that he has an Instagram channel, a YouTube channel, but let's stay with Instagram. I think it's kind of the easiest to start with. So then I come over here and this guy's got a verified profile. A lot of followers is pretty good. Now he tells me right here that, and of course I'm reading Portuguese, yours will be in English, but uh, work is only by email, only contact him by email. So I got to pay attention to stuff like that. I'm, I'm going to follow him. Um, I'm not going to DM him or anything else he wants to be contacted about work through email i gotta respect that um if you go and look at the profile page for him not on the desktop like i am now 
but actually in the Instagram app, let me open it up and look at him here. There's a contact button. Uh, let's see if you can see that. Anyhow, you can't see that, but there's a contact button. Most people have a contact button or an email button. When I hit the contact button, it has his Gmail. So now I know where I can contact him. Um, that's one of the ways you can do it. You can also do it on YouTube, something else I might do. So this is a big, this is a big playlist taste maker, uh, 279,000. He says he's got a million on YouTube. Uh, he's verified on Instagram. He's got, what do we say? 20,000 on Spotify. This would be a good connect that I want to build. I want to, uh, work into a relationship with, right? So what I want to do is I want to go back. I'm going to follow him. I'm going to go back to that playlist and I'm going to start sharing this on my Instagram uh, and tagging him. Make sure you just start giving to him, not asking for anything right now. I'm going to start sharing his playlist and helping him grow it. I'm going to start giving to him in that way. I'm also going to go to his profile, which I don't think I can do it on desktop. I don't know. I don't use Instagram on desktop a lot. Um, but I'm going to go, let's see, I'm going to go to it on the telephone and I'm going to hit the following button. Let's see if it does it here. No. Um, hit the follow button. And then you have an, uh, an option for notifications in that list. I'm going to turn on notifications for post stories, IGT live and live videos all. It's got a some option. Um, get all notification. I'm going to turn that on for live. So now what happens is the moment this guy posts or he goes live or he does a new story or anything like that, I immediately uh, get a notification on that. I'm going to respond to it. I'm going to be the first person who comments on it. Uh, I'm going to say so. That way I'm getting part of his fans seeing my comments right away, but I also get him seeing me interacting with him, always seeing my name, always me being first being a huge fan of his, right? I'm gonna do the same thing on YouTube. I'm gonna click this YouTube, especially he says he has a million followers. I'm gonna jump over here and I'm going to look at his profile. 1.06 followers. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna turn on, I'm gonna follow the channel and then I'm gonna turn on notifications all. Every time a video gets posted, it's going to pop up on my cell phone, on my desktop. I'm immediately going to try to be the first person who, com who comments. And I want to do it from my music profile. Um, this stuff is a banger. I'm going to do a song like this. Um, if dude ever needs a feature, I would love to be on something like this. Even little things like that, right? So you're the first one there. Somebody stops by to leave a comment or see what it is. They're like, what do you mean you want to do a feature with him? And then they come and they look. So there's different ways you can approach it. Uh, last but not least, now that you have the email, you've got some interaction, you've been doing this for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days on these big ones. Um, then you've got to send the appropriate type of professional email uh, in order to get the response that you want to get considered for the playlist. You can't just say, let's work. You can't just send over a track. Um, it, it, there's a way that you want to set it up and you want to show that you've been given to this person. You want to show you're a professional. You want to show why you think it would fit. You want to tell a story about it. So your copy, the way you write this email is going to be very, very important. It's one of those things, right? I'm always saying you got to learn marketing. You got to learn some other techniques. Uh, you can't just shoot your stuff over, man. That's, that's spam. Nobody wants that. You get tired of that fast. So what you want to do is learn how to talk to people, learn how to write copy, get into a little copywriting course, learn how to write really good emails, learn how to use power words and things that draw people in, learn how to start a letter off or an email off that gets the attention right away that makes the person have to stay and scroll down. So there's techniques that come along with this. So you need to hire it out, somebody who knows how to write copy and send emails, or you need to study and learn this stuff for yourself. So let's look at one more thing. And those type of emails and templates and copywriting secrets, those are the type of things that we're going to go into in, in our private groups. I mean, it's not, this isn't the kind of stuff I could spend the time with here, but those who are paying and inside the community and in the group, 
I'm going to show you the templates. I'm going to show you the emails. We're going to talk about copy. These are the kind of extra things that will work on the side of there, but I still want to contribute here for you that are watching and following these videos. So if we come back to Ben's page and, and we already looked at this playlist, right? So we go down, I want to give you another real example of how this works. So we do the same thing. We click on this playlist. Um, again, 155 songs, um, 3000 followers, not too bad. This is the type I want to go after. And if we look right here, he's got his Instagram handle. And then he says, uh, to add your music, you know, contact him here at this Instagram channel. So I did that. I went and, and found this Instagram, sent him a message, said, hey, I saw that you were inviting people to uh, submit music. I saw that you have uh, been on your playlist. And actually, we have a song with Ben and we have other songs I think your people would like. So he said, let me hear it. I sent over a couple and he actually chose one that Ben wasn't on. Uh, and he added it to the playlist. And over about uh, seven or 10 days, we got several hundred streams from it. Nothing major, but it's helpful. It all adds up, right? And we were way down on the playlist. And now what we figured out that happened was if we look at this filter and we look for my artist, he's went ahead and 17 hours ago, we added the song that we actually did with Ben. And so now, you know, we got two songs on there. It's going to add to the volume of streams we get. It's going to add to becoming more discoverable. But these songs were way down on the playlist. So what I'm going to do is the same thing I was just talking about. I'm going to continue talking to this guy, building a relationship sincerely. Um, I'm going to share his playlist and help him grow his playlist. Me and the artist, we're going to do a bunch of things for him. And then I'm going to try and do the ask. And the ask is going to be, hey, can you move us to the one of the, maybe the top three spots right here, one of our songs for a week? Um, what can we do to get you to do that? How can we scratch each other's back and help each other? Because if we're getting several hundred a week off of being way down this list of 155 songs, what happens if we get up here in the top three? Probably going to go a lot higher in numbers. Plus, I'm going to be able to use this and, and send the information out to other people say, hey, we're being featured on this playlist, this playlist. I'm going to scroll through his top stuff, see if there's anybody else that I can target with ads uh, that I haven't thought about? Is there anybody else that we can maybe do a collab with that's in our same ballpark or we could pay and get cheaply? There's a lot of ideas I can pull from this, but I just wanted to show you that I use this exact technique to find this playlist, to reach out to this guy on Instagram, just like I'm explaining to you. And I just showed you, I've got one of my artists on this playlist and we're getting several hundred streams from it. Now, if I sit down one weekend and really focus and we do this properly, then I'm, I should be able to pick up five or 10 of these, right? So 100 or 200 in a week becomes 1,000 or 2,000 streams in a week. You see where this is going, how it snowballs? And then I'll still be playing the long game on the guy that's got the YouTube channel with 1 million, right? Um, so this is kind of one of the approaches that you can take. I hope that you find this helpful and beneficial and a blessing. Uh, if you have other questions about it, please just reach out and let me know. Leave it in the comments, depending on where you're seeing this. Shoot me a DM or let's talk about it inside the private community if you're part of that. So that's it, guys. I hope this helped. Hope it's a blessing.